Neera Pandya. I'm the Director of Pediatric Sports Medicine here at UCSF, uh, as well as the Chief of Pediatric Orthopedics. And one of the to topics I would like to talk about is complications after pediatric ACL reconstruction. This is a study that myself and Dr. Brian Feely did looking at complications after pediatric ACL reconstruction. One of the things that pediatric orthopedic surgeons and adult sports medicine surgeons have to deal with is balancing the risk of growth disturbance versus the risk of uh, re-tear in this young population. As many of you may or may not know, pediatric patients who undergo ACL reconstruction have a high, very high rate of retear. But at the same time, we're trying to balance the risk of growth disturbance. One of the things that we have to deal with with delaying reconstruction is if you wait for a child to become skeletally mature, meaning they're no longer growing, is at the high rate of meniscus injury without a functioning ACL. So we have to balance all these factors. So one of the things we did was a study called a meta-analysis where we looked at all the studies in the literature to look at what were the rates of re-rupture as well as the rates of growth disturbance in the literature. And what we actually found that the rate of retear in this population was approximately 9%. Um, and a lot of these patients, almost 94 to 95% of them actually needed to get repeat surgery for these retears. Although we found a low, uh, relatively moderate percentage of growth disturbance, very few of these patients actually needed to have surgery done for their growth disturbance. So what we found was that even though you did find some degree of growth disturbance in these patients after a reconstruction, not many of these patients actually needed correction for that. It was something you noted, but it had no functional consequence. Actually, the much larger problem is that a lot of these patients will actually re-tear their ACL. So for us as surgeons moving forward, treating pediatric and adolescent patients, the important thing is to get an as anatomic reconstruction as possible so that they don't actually develop a retear. Although growth disturbance may occur, a lot of times this growth disturbance will not cause any clinical problems and it's just something that you notice on an x-ray on an exam. So moving forward, I think it's important for pediatric and adult orthopedic surgeons who do reconstructions in these young group is to counsel patients that there may be a growth disturbance, but more importantly, the risk of retear is much higher. And if we could prevent retear, then that's something we can uh, hopefully help prevent them from developing arthritis in the future and keep them on a, a pathway to prevent arthritis and dysfunction in the future. Thank you.